once again we're going to have a game of intergalactic cage match for the Commodore 64. Now that sounds interesting doesn't it? Inter intergalactic cage match. Um, not really into cage fighting myself. Um, no, I just sound uh, just the name of it. <laughs> um, I saw a review on it done by Ashens actually. I thought, oh, okay, I'll, I'm going to give it a go. Um, it is pretty. Look, it did look a pretty shitty game to me, so it just looked interesting. In the say, it's a it's an alien. You're fighting aliens in a cage. I just thought, well, I'll give it a play. You know, I'll give it a play. So. So F1, you can change your player. So let's have a look what we can select. So we can select, um, looks like a fucking, I don't know what he looks like. Is that, I don't know. Oh right, so you push it and it just fucks out. He looks like a Viking. He looks like a green monster from the planet. Is that Swamp Thing or something? I don't know. Or a Snot Mouse, sorry, that looks like a fucking cow. So not really much of an alien if you're fighting a cow, are you? And um, some grotesque um, cockroach <laughs> and a pea. Um, that's it. You can select. All right, we'll keep him. So we'll just keep. Um, let's. Who should we choose an opponent? Um, so we've got the cow. Oh, they're all different colours. So that's not quite a pea, that's um, a bean, I don't know, or <laughs> well, you can fight yourself. Okay, let's just go for uh, that, the cow. Um, F5 toggle two players, so we want it on computer. So now it's selected on computer, and let's start the game. Oh my god. So we've got to listen to the music to see what news, news we can consist of. Punch. Oh, he's got me. Oh, he's. So is that all I can do? Is just punch. Just oh, hang on. What am I doing? Fucking him. Look, that's not a fucking. It's not a move that I want to do. So you can either punch or fuck. But you don't have to fight him. There's a there's a way round this game. We can just win straight away. Hang on. If... Here we go. This is how you can win the game. Just climb out of the cage. Just climb up the cage rather, and climb out the ring. You instantly win the game, and the other player can't do absolutely fuck all to stop you. So that's a well programmed game isn't it? So let's do that again. So here we go, we're about to win the game again because we're just climbing up the cage and out the ring and there's absolutely nothing the computer can do about it. <laughs> so basically you can do that when you're playing two player mode. Um, first one basically to climb out the cage just like that and it's that easy because the computer can't even pull you down or do absolutely nothing to stop you I mean what a load of utter crap this is so that must so what happens now we just so the game just continues so let's have a proper fight then oh he gets me so you, you're basically just fighting all the time. The game just loops around by the looks of it. And the, the fighting maneuvers are just utter shit. Oh, we got him. All right, so. No, I don't want to get into that fuck maneuver again. But this is all you do. It's just, like, let's see if we can, no. Is there any other move we can do besides, right, let's go in the corner. No, now the computer, I can't. Right, so I can. Once the computer starts climbing up, there's absolutely nothing you can do. You can climb up with him, see if you can beat him. No. And 
this is just utter shit. Oh, so when the computer beats you, it, then it goes into the title screen. And I have to say, the music is atrocious. It's fucking one of the worst pieces of music I've ever heard on the Commodore 64. I think um, the only thing that's worse than this is the fucking music from Stroker, which I refuse still to review. Uh, to review. People keep asking me, can you review can you review Stroker? No, absolutely fucking no way I'm in reviewing Stroker. No, I've made that perfectly clear in one of my videos that I will not review Stroker. Anyway, I'm gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.